Hello everyone, let us study the salient features of DNA double helix. As in the name, the DNA double helix consists of two polynucleotide chain in which sugar and phosphate will make the backbone. The nitrogenous bases adenine, guanine, thymine and cytosine project inside. The two polynucleotide chains in DNA double helix have the anti-parallel polarity that is one strand run in 5 prime to 3 prime the opposite will run in 5 prime to 3 prime direction. The third property is that purines will always make a base pair with pyrimidines. Particular adenine will base pair with thymine through two hydrogen bond guanine with cytosine through 3 hydrogen bond which is called complementary base pairing. Because of the presence of hydrogen bond throughout the length of DNA, there is a constant distance maintained between the two strands throughout the length of the DNA. The two chains are coiled in a right handed fashion as shown in the figure and it results in the formation of complete turn which is called a pitch. A pitch of the helix is 3.4 nanometer or 3.4 into 10 to the power of minus 9 meter or 34 angstrom. Roughly one pitch consists of 10 base pairs. And when we know the sequence of one strand we can predict the sequence present in another strand which is of complementary base pairing. Since one pitch consists of 10 base pairs, consequently the distance between base pairs is 0.34 nanometers or 0.34 into 10 to the power of minus 9 meter or 3.4 angstroms. The DNA double helix is very stable and for this stability, there are two reasons. The first one is striking of base pairs in the two strands. The second reason is the hydrogen bonds. After proposition of DNA double helix, Francis Crick proposed central dogma of molecular biology, which states that DNA upon replication produces another molecule of DNA, upon transcription produces mRNA and upon translation produces protein. In some virus, reverse transcription where mRNA produces cDNA.